coming up on what May fifth month of uh, 2019 already. Wow. And I find these comments every now and then. It's been a while though, but yeah, this GS375. I'm trying to keep up with you, but do the best I can. There's this whole issue of how I'm homeless and stuff. And that has been a fun one. This person begging me to buy houses for whatever woman I'd be with at the time. <laughs> Interesting, you know? So, I'm going to talk a little bit about this homelessness thing. It's really fun. And, uh, I'll show you out here too. Ooh, wind's picking up. Good thing I'm kind of clear of water too. This is actually a mixture of salt and this is fresh, you know? It's cool. We're looking out north right now, and then this is, this is going out east. Of course, we are west. Okay, so. that are out there for me and opportunities really powerful blessings and all that and of course I'm looking at Hawaii for the winter 2019 2020 it's just this, you know kind of popping up it's part of it is because it was so cold you know this last winter down in Miami so this whole like winter thing is like now 2009 since 2009 for the winters and it started out like I'm just lucky to be here kind of thing it's getting way too windy right now and now I'm like you know what literally it took all this time just for me to figure this out I mean, no, no one can be wrong. I mean, I, I, we've, we've been active, we've done things, you know, you can see the videos. We did this petitioning and we did the evangelism, powerful. But now I'm getting involved with businesses and really just expanding my relationships with many beautiful people. But I gotta take over, just take over. Of course, my book, I Am Set Free, came out. January 2018, and now I've got another book about Sarasota, my time in the community, just how Sarasota has impacted me, but how about how I have impacted Sarasota and Southwest Florida, of course, you know. So I'm stepping it up. But as it relates to these traveling things I've been doing, I did not expect this at all. The 2016 thing, I, I traveled, began, you know, October, well, well, September, you know. Kobus Van Rensburg, prophet, came in from South Africa. September 10th, I stayed at the Apollo Lodge in Binghamton, and then I went up to Maine, visited some friends up there. Shout out to Valerie and Ian. Bard, B-A-A-R-D, in Limerick, 
L I M E R I C K. Then of course, yeah, I traveled the whole country, starting really in October, went back to Cleveland, and and I, I did like you know more than sixty-five thousand miles since then. Well, 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 way, way over that. Just driving, okay, flying and everything too. You know, that's even more. So. Here I am now in the whole Hawaii. I think that's, that's more driving, and of course, because of opportunities to do more throughout the states. Um, of course, we're looking at New Zealand, Asia. Obviously, I love in Africa, so that's gotta be something. I don't see that in 2019, but this whole homelessness thing, okay? So, you know, I've been looking at this. And you know, when people say stuff to you, they've got, you know, as much as they want to make their accusations of abuse, I, 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 I received, okay, I was like a, a, they called me a player back in uh, college, because yeah, I was just all the pretty girls, boom, 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 before I became a Christian. Um, and of course, you know, the fraud. Well, if you're working for the banks, you're doing something illegal, Jason, yeah. So, the reality is, yeah. We were committing fraud, but if, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to admit it because you know it's illegal. But we got away with it. Um, whatever they're saying, there's something there to it. I, I promise you. You know, collusion with the Russians. I did. Hell yeah. And the president? Hell yeah, he colluded not only with the Russians. And of course, Hillary did, and all the rest of them. But I mean, they're all committing crimes. But there's there's something to these things. city. And here I am. I'm, I'm in Bradenton. I've been doing a lot of videos here and I've been here, you know, now it's going on May. I'll be here till the end of May. Um, it's here for a little while at the end of last year for more than a month and of course, you know, Miami again for another about a month and then of course, you know, Sarasota and then, you know, middle of, well, just before Christmas. But yeah, then Bradenton, of course, now I'm, I've been here since End of, end of January, so and, I mean, I'm, you, know, you get some st stability with regard to one area, and I would, I would think that I like to stay in one place for like. You can't help it when with with Cleveland. I mean, it's cold. All right, the reason why I've been coming to Florida for the winters is because it's cold up there. So guess what? You're already going to be not in Cleveland for six months of the year. You know, November's out of the question. December, January, February, March, forget that. That's five months right there. And I'm not even including October could be rough. And obviously April right now. May is, and when you with this nice, it's like almost, not, not 90, it's like 85 right now. I like, and I'm, I'm, I'm kind of my hand, I mean, uh, not cold. Play out a little wind, you can feel the, you know, the breeze. You can't feel me. You can see my hair blowing a little bit. Look at the trees, they're, you know, they're blowing. So, you got, some, you got some wind right now. It's a little bit chill about, I can't say chilly, especially for you people. I saw you know, the weather right now. I think it's like 55 degrees right now. And totally sunny, but hey, it's the sky, y'all. totally clear. It's you know, clouds over here. Nothing out west. We can't beat this. And I'm actually enjoying these, these travels. I did that a lot as a child, though. My family and I, we would go on these road trips every year to Albany, New York, for at least a week, and then here and there we go to 
different parts of the Midwest. I mean, you know, every now and then we go to Phoenix, Arizona for a week, and then you've got the uh, visiting family to the parts of Ohio. I think it's kind of strange that though we, we traveled so much, but I'm enjoying it. And I'm like, God, like, what, what's next, Lord? You know? And anymore, it's like no more planning. Just, just. I, I met some people who talk about Lisa. I mentioned Maine, huh? of course. Yeah, she's yeah. From the Lim Limerick area. I've been, I've been there way, 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 way up. You know, um, was it Scotland? I'm looking at a bird up there. Or Ireland? I think it was Scotland. Yeah. Anyway, we traveled together. You know. Um, July, end of July till August 8th or 9th, 2017. So, this woman, I mean, she traveled the whole, like, well, all of Asia, but I mean, she just went. And that's the thing, it's like, when you look at evangelists, just go, go. And that's where I am, it's like, I'm so thankful for people I meet, the experiences that I have, there's less, oh wow, what a difference, it's not as much wind right here, this must be some kind of, I hear water in there or something, so yeah, gorgeous women, all the experiences with these <laughs> beautiful women and um, the businesses, the experiences with regard to whatever church it would be or organization just being right here look at this look at this all these beautiful yachts this cool water right here this gorgeous it's called the river walk as, as you continue to, you know out east so yeah it's this is this is the homeless life y'all <laughs> for jason werner you know perfect luxury healthy always they hand on the sick and they recover Oh my goodness. I mean, I've been staying at some just absolutely gorgeous resorts. You know, obviously Miami Beach, amazing, uh, you know, skyscrapers. Wow. Yeah, the, the, the um, condominiums. I did a hostel for the first time. It was in, uh, it's called City House Hostel in, uh, check it out, New Orleans. Great experience. I had a rough time with the whole, you know, um, hotels thing. It's just, you know, I've gotten lonely with the woman, you know. It's just like, what do you do? You're in a room by yourself, you know. Couch surfing, shout out. Trusted house sitters. Cats and dogs. There's just so much, you know, more to enjoy. And not just being free. Free. I can go anywhere, do whatever, anytime. And, you know, it's, it's a big life change, though, when this whole thing began happening to me. And, like, I, and I'm thankful for the divorces. Like, can you, can you imagine, like, if, <laughs> when my wife have approved me being with women who are just supermodel gorgeous hot don't get me wrong I mean I would um, I did all I could to have us be happy together obviously you know, them to be happy both of the women I was married to and be a family together you know hey Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all and joining me on my journeys. This is this is this is this is a this is the life. I'm telling you, this is just.